Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company. And welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I've got the boatless angler with us today. He is filling one of his bait pockets up and we're looking for that channel cat bite. We're using the size five bait pockets and for once I've got my line in the water first. I beat him to the punch today. Okay, you got yours boat loaded up? Filled right up. Wow, that, look at it, it's dripping, dripping with it's just perfect. juices. <laughs> If you've never used the bait pockets before, that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to release scent and attract catfish and get that bite going. So, you've got, a, what do you got, a sliding sinker rig? Sliding sinker rig. Yeah. Okay. And I've got the same rig. And a sliding sinker rig is basically, uh, you put your sliding sinker uh, on, your sinker slide, which we're using the Thundermist sinker slide, which is camel green. And uh, you just put a sinker onto it. And then typically you tie on a swivel. That swivel will act as the stop to your sinker slide, and then uh, a couple feet of line to uh, to a hook. And I'm running five aught. What are you running? Five aught as well. Five aught. So we're both running five aught octopus style hooks. If you run circle hooks, that's fine too. Just got to remember with a circle hook, don't set the hook. Just start reeling. The hook will find itself into the side of the mouth. Okay. So I've got my line in. You've got yours. Ready to go. On, uh, let me see how you rigged it. I rig mine the same way. I like to rig it like that. You see how Antonio's rigged it here? Basically with a lot of hook gap. Lots of hook gap. So when the catfish picks up that bait and starts to run, and there you can see his sinker slide there. We'll show your rig, Antonio, since mine's in the water. There's the sinker slide, and there's the swivel as the stop, and then of course, he just snapped on a sinker. Okay, and these are braid, braid tough, these sinker slides. All right, so we've got a nice day upon us. I packed the lunch, a little bit of water. Plan on, uh, we plan on spending the day here. And that's the thing, uh, I mean, the catfish do bite at night, but they bite all day long too. So um, we're just gonna relax, see who, gets, see who gets into that first bite. It's usually Antonio. <laughs> that's why I wanted my line in for it. No, it's usually him, but that's okay. It's all about having fun, and that's what we're going to do today. So glad you could join us. Stay tuned, folks. Like, like I said, folks, Antonio usually strikes first. It doesn't matter what I do. He's always on. <laughs> feels like a good one? Yeah, it feels nice. Good fish, good fish. He's out there, though. Wow, you cast to the wall. You got that huge rod you can cast really far. <laughs> hey? You cast a country mile. Oh, how big he is, though. Well, you know, it doesn't matter how big. I mean, it's all about having fun, right? See him towards us pretty quickly. Be nice to get a big one, though. Oh, that's that's okay. decent. It's a decent channel cat. That is a decent channel cat. <laughs> he's figured out that he's he's hooked. Decent. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're strong, eh? Yeah, are you ever? Like, really, they're really strong. Ow. <laughs> he knows he's in trouble. We're gonna release him anyway, right? We are, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. And oh, that's a good, that's a decent fish. Long, I don't know if it's thick. Oh, well, he's not. Long. Yeah, he's he's long. It's a, it's a decent fish. The boatless angler strikes first. There you go. There you go, Antonio. That's a nice. That's just a nice looking fish, eh? Yeah. He's, he's thin and lean. Bait pocket came right out. Nice, the hook came right out. Quick photo? Yeah, sure. Let me grab a photo. That's a nice looking fish. Let's grab a photo of that fish. Yeah. Okay. Thin Beautiful and chart. long. Yeah, he's still got the, the black dots, like a, a, an immature, like a younger, younger, one? Yeah. younger fish. Gotcha. Okay. And away he goes. Oh, that's how it goes. Like I said, folks, the boatless angler. He always strikes first. He's screaming. 
<laughs> we got a double going here, folks. But I got something different. Yeah, mine's definitely a catfish, but you... Wow. I wonder if we should save the net for you. I have no idea what I got. It's something different because he hit and he just started jumping. So I have no idea. It's not a cat. I don't think it's a channel. Unbelievable. Antonio caught that first fish and then we made a move. We made a slight move. And we just recasted and I don't know what I got here. Is it a catfish? I, I don't know. He hit. Gar? I, I don't know. Could be a gar. It was an unbelievable bite and he just... It looked a little... What the heck you got? It's a trout. Oh, I got a steelhead <laughs> on a bait pocket. <laughs> Folks, I got a steelhead on a bait pocket. Or it would be a rainbow, I guess, considered in here. I don't know. I got a rainbow. It was unbelievable on the bait pocket. <laughs> I told, Look at this fish. Good size. Look at this fish. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, I got some good too, but it's not good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're gonna lose them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's my bait pocket too. He just came out, yeah. He just came out. Can you imagine? Look at this. This is unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. I would not expect to catch a steelhead on a bait pocket filled with liver and cut bait. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna keep this fish, so... He can stay right in here. I gotta get him out of the net. Cause I'm definitely gonna want to picture this cause no one's gonna believe. He also got a net my fish. I'm trying, trying to get this guy out of the net. Mine is definitely sizable, but it's no trout. This is unreal. Look at this folks. Can you imagine that? That's unbelievable. Look at that fish. Un unbelievable. Okay, I'm just gonna put him down. I can't believe that he hit and then he just immediately jumped and I thought you know it came to mind maybe pike or a bowfin but not a rainbow and a, a beauty at that okay so Antonio you got a nice you got a nice catfish definitely you got a nice catfish but now I know you went and put you put a strip of cut bait on, I saw. Yeah. We moved spots. You put a fresh cut bait on. I put a bait pocket on. And we, we, we got a double. This is, what a, that's unbelievable. That's a beautiful rainbow. This guy's got weight to it. And you got, you must have, you must have a really nice channel cat. I mean, he's just staying down. Antonio, can you believe that rainbow? Like seriously. I, I'm actually shocked, but remember we were talking there was something chasing some minnows out well, there or something? Yeah, we did see like some minnows jumping and some fish splashing around out there. And it wasn't like a few minutes later and I got this uh, I got this hit. So if you can bring this fish in, we'll take a picture of both you and I with our double header. You with a catfish, me with a <laughs> with a rainbow. <laughs> that would be a unique double header, I'll tell you that. He's on the other side. Go on the other side. Anchor. That's it. Oh, watch, watch, watch there. Watch the anchor line. Okay. What's going on here? Can you do it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That's a first for me. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still overly excited about that. I can't believe it. Like, that's 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 something. Like how many years we've been fishing for channel cats? With you know. And, and using a bait, like a bait pocket with liver and cut bait. <laughs> That's unreal. Oh, jeez. This really guy tough. has not shown himself. Okay, you must have a really nice channel cat. We're getting a little sun shower here, folks. Oh, yeah, you got a nice channel. Good size one. Yeah. That's a good channel. You bring him in a bit, I can... Trying here. He is not ready. No. Did you get a good look at him? I, 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 I didn't get a good look at him, but it's a, it's a, it's a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> I have my steelhead here in the bottom of the boat. 
How big is it? It's pretty big. That's pretty big. It's a nice fish. I'm looking forward to this double header picture if we can get your fish landed. I can't even get it up. There's your belly strip. Oh, that's a that's good a fish. That's a good fish. Oh, oh look at the head. Goodness. Look at the size of the head on that fish. Oh my goodness. Antonio. That's a good one. That is a good fish. Oh yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, folks, you gotta take a look at this fish. Can you lift him out, Antonio? I if you wanted to weigh him while he's still in here. Oh, okay, yeah, we get a weight on him. Let's do that. I got my weight scale right here. This is unbelievable. What a day. Unbelievable. Is he off the hook or? No, I think he's still on the hook. Okay, we're looking at, well, he's, oh, I was gonna say he's not that big. He's 17, 17.2, 17.3, 17.4, so he's a 16, 16 and a half pounder. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. We have got to get, we are going to get a photo of this double header here, folks. This is a first. You've seen it live. You've seen it on camera. We got our first double header and it's unbelievable. A nice rainbow and a beautiful channel cat. Okay, don't lose them because I would love to get a picture for our Facebook and Instagram friends. We're going to do that right now. And you know what, folks? This is exciting fishing. I don't know. What could I say? If you haven't been out lately, by all means, get out, get a line wet, have some fun. This is a riot. Unbelievable. I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And until next time, folks, good luck and good fishing. Nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Unbelievable.